A MacBook went through quite a few changes over the years, but this is where it all started. This is the 2016 MacBook Pro 13 inch. As you can see, it has the four USB-C ports, the touch bar, the touch ID power button, and a tiny thin form factor. We have this computer in front of us today because we're going to repair it. As I show you, I'm gonna turn it on, but you're gonna see an unusual icon. This means that the OS is either corrupt or missing. So we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the OS and get this computer back up and running. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to do is plug your laptop into a power source, then press the power button and immediately after, press and hold Command R. When you do this, this menu will appear. It's gonna ask you to select your network. So find your network, enter the password, and then it's gonna download the recovery software. This is what is needed to reinstall macOS. So let's go ahead and let this finish. Okay, now that the software is done downloading, it's going to run. Because this computer is really old, this is going to take quite some time. So we'll come back once the software is officially booted up. Okay, I just wanted to show you how long it would take for an older machine like this to boot in to the recovery software. But as you can see, we are finally here. So the first thing we need to do is go into disk utility, then select the main drive, which is typically named Macintosh HD. And we need to format this drive. Hopefully you have a backup of everything on here. If not, unfortunately you're gonna lose it. You have to format the drive to complete this process so go ahead and hit erase keep the name Macintosh HD but for the format type make sure you select Mac OS journaled once you select that hit erase and let the process complete I've already done it so I'm not gonna do it again but once it's completed go ahead and hit done or the X and then in, in the list of options, as you see, you'll see reinstall macOS. So go ahead and select that. This will pick the latest version of macOS that your computer was on before the issue, which in this case is Sierra. It shows you how old this thing is. But go ahead and follow the steps. So hit continue, agree to the license and terms. Once you get past that, it's going to ask you to select a compatible drive. In this case will be the HD. Select it and then hit confirm and then agree. Now in this case, I did not have the power source connected. So it's important that you have it connected or it's gonna give you that message. So once you connect it, as you see, it's powered. Hit continue again and this time it should go through. And it's gonna begin downloading the latest Mac OS that this computer was on, which in this case is Sierra. So we're gonna go ahead and let this go through to show you how long it kind of takes. And we'll come back once it's finished. So unfortunately with older tech, as we near the end of this installation process, you're going to run into a lot of errors. And this error is common on older laptops like this. So we're going to show you how to get around this. So unfortunately this, main, this software is no longer useful to us, so we have to go around it. To get around it, go ahead and go to another computer, hopefully you have access to another Mac, but you need to download Mac OS yourself. So we're going to do that by going to Google, type in download Mac OS, and then go to the Apple support page. Once you do that, go ahead and click it, 
it's going to take you to all the available downloads of Mac OS. Unfortunately, if, if you don't have a Mac, you won't be able to download the latest, latest versions as those require a Mac app store. But luckily I am on a Mac, so once you do click it, it will show you that you can download this version, Ventura. If you don't have a Mac, you can just download, for example, High Sierra, and then once you're on High Sierra, use the Mac App Store to download this version. So once you download it, it's going to be installed in your Applications folder on your Mac. So go ahead and close out of that. Then we're going to launch Finder. And then go to the Applications folder. You'll see it populate there as Mac OS, the name, and then installer. You want to take this package and remember where it's at because we need to enter some command to create a bootable drive. I've already done all this and like an idiot forgot to record it, but it's going to be here. So make sure you remember where it's at. And then have a USB drive connected and make sure it's formatted in Mac OS journaled as well. I'm using this hard drive, the My Passport. It's an SSD. You want a re relatively large capacity. This is definitely overkill, but make sure you have something of a large capacity. Make sure it's formatted in Mac OS journaled, connected to your Mac, and let's begin writing the command to create the bootable drive. Okay, you're gonna wanna go to Apple's support page again. So go to Google and type in bootable Mac OS drive, and it's, Apple's gonna give you a list of commands you need to enter to create the drive. Make sure you pick the right software that you're on, which in this case is Ventura, I believe. No, it's Monterey. So make sure you select the right one, as you see, and paste that command into terminal. So go ahead and hit paste. You need to modify a few things. So where it says my volume at the bottom, you need to change that to the name of your SSD. So keep your name simple. I just named mine SSD, but make sure you change that my volume to that. Once you do that, hit enter, and it's gonna ask for your admin password, as you see there. When you type in your password, nothing's gonna show up, but it is entering key. So make sure you type your password correctly, and when you hit enter, the process will complete. You'll show percentages and progress it may give you an error but as long as you see this image i'm about to show you next that means that the process did complete let me show you that when you type in letters it doesn't show up on the screen but it is actually entering letters and such so go ahead and type your password and i'm going to show you what it looks like when it's complete so once you see this part as you see there it says the bootable drive is called Mac OS installer. So that means you have successfully created a bootable drive. Okay, once you get the drive going, go ahead and connect your old laptop to a power source and then boot it up. Hit option R. And once you do that, a special menu will appear showing that your bootable drive is detected and you can boot from it. It's still gonna ask for an internet connection. So once you do that, as you see, connect to the internet and then it's gonna verify that this software is legit. And then the same process is gonna happen. It's gonna ask you to reinstall OS. In this case, it's Monterey. So once you do that, hit reinstall, select Macintosh HD. And then this is the process you'll see once you select that. Okay, this process takes quite a bit of time, so be patient. Make sure it's connected to power and let it do its thing. Check on it occasionally. But we're going to go ahead and no, skip over this part because it does video, take you know, quite a bit of time. So we'll be back once the OS completes the installation. Okay, it is officially done. The OS is installed. So go ahead and set it up as you would. And we're going to go ahead and skip this part because everything that on here is, contains personal information and such. But yeah, this is basically confirmation that you successfully reinstalled the OS. So go ahead and complete the setup and we'll be back once we're done.
Okay, and that's it. We are done. The OS is officially installed. So you see the hard drive on the top. You can now reformat that back to whatever you need it to to use it as an original hard drive. Because right now it's unusable. So we're going to go ahead and just test everything. Make sure everything's working. The touch bar and all that. And as you see, it does. So that's good. And that's it. That pretty much concludes this video. You successfully reinstalled macOS. I hope you like what you saw and I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'm going to do my best to answer. So we're going to go ahead and go to about this computer to show you how old it is and that it is indeed running macOS. And on that note, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.